Zeus, the universe's supreme god, often descended to Earth in order to test man's hospitality. Since he was a great deity, feared and respected, he was welcomed with proper pomp and circumstance wherever he decided to go. Nonetheless, this time, he wanted to know what sort of reception he would have if he decided to keep his real identity concealed. He invited his son, Hermes, to go with him on this journey. Both disguised themselves as humble travelers and roamed around the region by Phrygia. They crossed paths with a beautiful house and decided to knock on its door. <laughs> what do you bums want? We'd like to have something to eat and a place to rest. Get out of here. This is not an inn. Zeus repressed his anger and decided to go on with his journey. Up ahead, they found yet another house, which appeared to be hosting a party. Both of them approached the party's host and asked, Could you give us a drink to quench our thirst? Can't you see that this is my daughter's wedding? What will guests think if they happen to see two homeless men in my house? Zeus almost pierced the man with one of his bolts, but Hermes managed to calm him down. The great god and his son knocked on several doors in the vicinities, and all those greeted them with outrageous words. Already tired and disappointed, they decided to knock on the door of a tiny hut falling to pieces. They were welcomed by an elderly couple, Baucis and Philemon, who, noticing the dismayed semblance of the two gods, quickly invited them to enter and rest for a bit. It was a humble house. They obviously had few resources, but that did not prevent the woman to provide the guests with a few things they had. The woman served a soup with the bread, while the old man filled the cups of the guests with a handmade drink of his authorship. There was not much left to drink in the bottle, so Philemon decided to split the little amount between the two guests. I'm sorry that we can't allow you to have more. Our life doesn't allow us to have that many luxuries. Zeus snapped his fingers and the bottle was filled again. Amazed by it, Philemon realized that he was facing a god of the universe. After enjoying the couple's hospitality, Zeus asked the couple to follow him up to the top of a hill. And he asked if there was something that they would like to request. We have been loving each other since we were young and we would like to leave this world together when the time comes. So, let it be. Zeus summoned a major storm which flooded the entire city, punishing all those who had denied him hospitality. The couple's house was also shattered, but in its place, Zeus materialized a beautiful temple made of marble. From now on, you will be the priestess of the temple devoted to me and will remain together until the last of your days. Philemon and Baucis still lived many years together until one day their time came. They were walking in the temple's garden with their hands together when both started to assume the shape of two beautiful trees and their roots ended up intertwining. Finally, Philemon said his last words. Goodbye, my love. <laughs>